Welcome back to my channel. If you guys ha are having any issues with your Google Chrome, with the error DNS probe finished NX domain error, then please stay tuned and I will show you how to fix this. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, I'm How To Tech Tips, and I hope you enjoy my videos, and of course, don't forget to subscribe and like any of my videos, and of course, share. So, like I said earlier in the video, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this error. So, let's just say that, you know, you're on whatever website and you get this error, and the first thing we're going to want to do to fix this is clear our browser browser cache. And how we do this is we're already in Google Chrome, of course. We're going to hit the three little dots in the right-hand corner. And then we're going to go all the way down to more tools. And then clear browsing data. We're going to left-click on that. And then a little, another window should open and this will come up and we will want to go to the little time range, go all time, and then cached images and files. And then cookies and have all this highlighted. So we're gonna wanna clear the data on this I will warn you though, that if you end up clearing all your data, you're, you're gonna have to sign into all the, all the different websites that you normally wouldn't have to sign in every single time you basically go into the website. So for example, eBay, if, you know, if your password is already saved and your account is saved already on there, then you're just gonna have to re-sign in after you clear all the data. So you would clear the data, and then the data would be done, and then you can just X, and then just refresh the page, and the page should have no issues at all and should load up. If that doesn't work, then the next step I would say is resetting your router and modem. And how you can do that is just unplugging the power cord from the router and the modem. Or if you have a combo router modem combo, then just unplug it. Wait about two, two minutes, I would say. Two to three minutes. And then plug it back in. Wait for it to boot up. Wait until all the lights are green and green or blue really depends on your router and then just refresh the page when you have connect when you have a connection like i do over here and yeah reset it and see if it works if that doesn't work then try resetting google chrome itself so just exit And then make sure that you can reset your computer as well, just to see if that would help. Um, you can actually reset the settings themselves on Google Chrome. So you would click on the menu and then choose settings and then advanced, and then reset and clean up. And then here we would restore settings to their original default, and then you would hit reset settings, and then it should reset your settings, and then you would go back to the website again, and then try it again, reload the page, and see if that works. Now we're going to get into something a little bit more advanced. 
but don't worry I'm gonna go nice and slow and we'll figure this out together so in the bottom left hand corner right beside the start there's a type here to search and here we would write services and you would see that services is an application or an app we would click on that let that load up and then from here we would look for the DNS client which is right here you can see that it's running that's the status and then automatic start so we can just right click and reset and sometimes of course it won't let us reset which is fine and which is fine especially if you reset your computer then that's fine it'll reset all the different services as well and the next thing we would do is change the DNS server so how we would do this is we would right click on the little internet access the how many lines are there three lines and a dot right click and then open network internet settings make this a little bit bigger and then from here we would change adapter options left click on that and then you would obviously find your network adapter that you have so mine is this one and we would right click and hit properties a little window should come up don't pay attention to anything don't touch anything here the only thing we're gonna be touching is this one internet protocol version 4 TCP dash IPv4 we're gonna highlight it and then hit properties and then here it'll say to obtain that it'll obtain an IP address automatically and then a DNS server automatically so that's fine we're gonna go to the second one where it's gonna be the DNS server and then it's gonna prompt you to write a IP address so here we can just do let's do 8.8.8.8 and then alternative our secondary let's do 8.8.4.4 so 8.8.8 .8 is the DNS primary server and then the secondary server as well and then make sure that you hit validate settings upon exit I've had multiple times where when I haven't hit the validate settings upon exit then it would not work and then other times it would work it, it I don't know why I don't know why it does that but I just always do validate settings upon exit and then hit OK and then close you'll get another window yeah you can just X that don't worry about it and then X and then you can go back to Google Chrome and then try the web page again if that doesn't work then we can do something called <clears throat> DNS flushing so it's more like resetting your IP address and stuff like that again nothing too complicated here I'll go nice and slow again so we're gonna go you got to go into a PowerShell and make sure you hit the little arrow here and make sure that you run as an administrator. 
Okay. Here you will write IP config dash release. So there you go. So first command is done. Um, next command that we're going to do is IP config dash flush. Yep, I said flush. DNS. Hit OK. And then you should see successfully flush the DNS. Resolver cache. So that's good. So the next one, what we're going to write is IP config dash renew. Okay. So that's done. And for the last step, it's going to reset your network uh, adapters. So <clears throat> it's going to be net sh space int space ip reset. We're going to hit enter. And you should see this as well, where it says OK on everything. And then the last command we're going to write is net sh win sock reset. Hit enter. And we're going to let it run. And you should see this as well, that it's successfully reset Winsock catalog. You must reset your computer in order for the in order for to complete the reset. So then of course you would reset your computer and then try the website that you're trying to get onto again. And if that doesn't work, then we have Two more options, one of them being uninstalling Google Chrome and installing it all over again. And basically all you write is Google Chrome download and it'll be just this one. And then you just download it again like you did the first time you got Google Chrome. And the last part would be to see if you can update your driver. So how we would do that is we would just go to the, so the start right here, the little search. We go device manager. If you write DE, it'll be the first one. We'll click that. And then The category that we would want is network adapters. And from here, it would really depend on which which network I guess you're using. So mine's going to be a little bit different than yours. Um, mine is, I believe, this one. And how we can check is we can go to the... So Go back to the those lines, right click, open network, change adapter options, and then here right underneath it'll say what exactly like what network you're actually on. So I am I am on this one, so TP link USB adapter. So you can go back, you can even bring it down and look at all the other ones that you have. So you'll see okay. Intel Ethernet connection. There it is. That's not the one I'm on. Okay, Kaspersky. Okay, I'm not on that one. 
virtual, of course, I'm not on that one. Real, okay, the only one that I'm on that I can see for sure is this one. So we would right click and then try to update the drive. We can search automatic for drive. And if any drives were outdated, then it would come up here and then it would tell you to, you know, do you want to continue with the update, etc. And then it would update by itself. We can search for any updates that are needed. And oh, it didn't search. I think I need a few updates, but I'm not going to be too concerned about that one. And that's basically it. If you guys have any other questions, please comment in the comment section below. And like always, thanks for stopping by and keep teching on.